Hello, I'm Jim Altimos from Digit Signage Technologies, and this is a quick video showing some of the Kai TV digital signage projects we've worked on with Caterpillar. We'll go under the hood a little bit on some of the content and some of the capabilities that make Kai TV digital signage products so valuable. What you're looking at is our Kai TV HD150 digital signage device, playing out high definition content to a flat panel display. Kai TV products automatically adjust their output resolution to accommodate any HD screens you might already own or are looking to purchase. Below is a laptop computer running our Kai TV tools interface. This will let me control the content you're looking at. We have multiple methods of getting content to the Kai TV device, but in this case, I'm connecting directly to the Kai TV from the laptop via IP address. Under typical use, the content plays according to a schedule shown here. This is what it's doing now. Using Kai TV tools, I'm going to interrupt the schedule and explain some of these pages and what's interesting about them. This first page may look like a video clip, but the animations and information are all created in the Kai TV device itself. The text is dynamic and easily changed without re-rendering a new video clip or even changing the same page. Watch again. Same thing with this next page. The various bullet points are simple text strings that are easily modified. Again. Here's the third example. This page highlights the Kai TV's clip payout playout capability, as well as the ability to define graphic and text layers. Notice across the bottom of the clip, we have what we call a lower third. This one says, Welcome to Louisiana Cat. It has a field of text that is easily modified, as well as an animated cat logo in the lower right. Of course, the clips have uh, audio associated with them. I just have the volume turned down. Going around and talking about some of the issues that pop up in for uh, demonstration issues. purposes. Now to modify that text is a very uh, simple process. I just need to go to our data view where the various text strings are defined. And instead of welcome to Louisiana cat, I can type something like uh, two day only big truck stuff $350 and that updates the uh, data if I go back and display that page again we see that now we have the layer across the bottom saying today only big truck stuff $350 if I read another page, notice that multiple pages can share the same information with the same lower third. So here's a different page with a different video clip, but it's applying the same lower third information, today only big truck stuff, $350. So that information can be shared across uh, multiple pages in the entire project. One last valuable feature I'd like to show you is the ability to add live video as a resizable window. With the Kai TV products, you can squeeze live video into an area on the screen and add your content around or on top. So I'll pull up uh, a page that illustrates that. And here's uh, incoming television. And that's a live uh, television show in a window. And around that we have our uh, content. And to show you how easy that is to uh, create, we'll uh, do an illustration in our Kai TV authoring tool. Uh, your live video can be television from a cable set-top box, a satellite box, a DVD player, a media player, anything that can generate video. Live video pass-through can be a great way to engage customers in waiting areas while still getting across your message and information. Now, if I run our Kai TV authoring tool, To create a page like this, I simply need to go to New, 
and create. And we can have a colored background or a gradiated background. Uh, I'm going to choose to select a uh, graphical background from an image. So this can be any, uh, any, any image you choose, uh, you know, whether it's a diesel truck. Uh, I'll just choose a, a, a diamond plate image that I see here, kind of a generic uh, background. And we can define a live video window. And I can squeeze that and position that anywhere on the screen and vary the aspect ratio. And I can define a video clip. I'll select the same uh, micro video clip that we used earlier, uh, just to show the ability to squeeze and position video into a window. So we're not fixed on having full screen video. We can put that in a window, any size and shape on the screen we'd like. And I'm going to save this page. I'll save that as a, a test. Save. And when I go back into our Kai TV tools, it's been added as a thumbnail in our view. I simply select update. And bring up the page. And that could be added into the schedule just like any other page. And so here we see our live input window along with our video clip. You can also pass through full, vi full screen video with your content overlaid on top. So for instance, uh, here's your full screen live video with the lower third coming across the bottom. Uh, many customers use this type of functionality for emergency and security alerts. This says this is only a test, this is only a test. Uh, of course, like before, it's very easy to change the text. So I go into our, our data view, and I find the text string that's applied to that page, and uh, instead of, this is a test, we'll say boogity, boogity, boogity for your NASCAR fans. Back to pages, display it. And there we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Well, I'm going to restart the schedule. Go back to our normal uh, content display. And that's all for now. At this point, you can disconnect the PC and walk away. Your content will play automatically from the Kai TV, even it's after it's turned off and back on. I've shown you some of the capabilities such as dynamic text, layering, video clips, and live video windows. This demonstration was done using a Kai TV HD 150, which has HD output with a standard definition input. We also have the Kai TV Plus, which is a standard def input and output, and our newest top of the line HD 250, which is high definition input and output. Thanks for your time, and please visit www.kaitv.com for more information. That's chytv.com.